Unfortunately, we're in the middle of another gypsy moth outbreak. I don't know if you can see up there, but they're chewing away. There's a bunch of little pieces of leaf on the ground from the oak trees and frass. See all those little nuggets there? That's right out of a caterpillar's butt. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear it raining down. Anyway, bummer. Now, what you need to do from a management standpoint, there's nothing you can do about the gypsy moth. It's another gift from Asia. And, uh, you can have your land sprayed aerially with uh, BT early in May when the caterpillars are a little tiny. Right now it's too late. Uh, they, they won't succumb before they already defoliated the trees. Now there's a fungal disease and a, and a viral disease that gets gypsy moss, but again, by the time they die, the damage is pretty well done. So from a management standpoint, what you need to do is to keep an eye on your trees. Now, they'll grow a set of new leaves this year, but all that defoliation and the, the lack of energy coming from the sun into the tree weakens it, and it can go ahead and get a a variety of diseases. Let me show you this. Those trees are completely defoliated. So, I'm going to hand over the lens there. So keep an eye on your trees if it looks like they aren't leafing out in the spring or if they don't grow a new set of leaves uh, then you should harvest the trees. Years ago, we went through this stand and took out the stuff that was dying. But then the trees just kept dying. And they just keep on dying. So keep an eye on that. And um, the key to avoiding really bad outbreaks of insects is to make sure you have high diversity in your stands so that one insect isn't going to wipe out your whole stand. And also, when you have a monoculture of trees or any plant, uh, that just sets up a good place for um, your pest to multiply. So in here we have a lot of pine and maple, but you know, it would be nice to uh, have more diversity than that. There's little chunks of leaves everywhere. Now my question is, do deer benefit from these chopped up leaves on the ground. Maybe they get to eat them. I don't know. That would be a good question. Alright, well that's it for gypsy moss. There's not much you can do about it. Just uh, keep an eye on mortality. And, you know, if you want to spend the money on spraying, you can do that. Um, it all depends. You know, if you have thousand fifteen hundred dollars worth of trees per acre is it worth it to spend a couple hundred bucks per acre spraying gypsy moth probably you know even if it's just for aesthetics so something to think about all right later